kuzo kila siku jana leo na kesho the year is 1993 that's right about 30 years ago in Zimmerman estate back in the day many things are happening but there is a congregation of believers on a friday night calling on the name of the lord what is popularly known as a kesha there's a young man who walks through those doors but he doesn't walk through the doors of the kesha coming to seek jesus christ he's following some sisters that he saw somewhere and now is trailing them going to exactly where it is they're going he stumbles through the doors of deliverance church international zimmerman or kasarani zimmerman in this place finds love and acceptance now it's not my story to tell this is the story of one Reverend Josphat Chege Kaime. Listen up. Praise the Lord. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Josphat Chege Kaime. I love the Lord Jesus Christ who saved me when I was a young man. I came to the Reverend Church Simmerman in the year 1993. I had come for a Kesha, but it was a very interesting Kesha because I had come when I was drunk from a bar at Banka. And I was following some sisters who had come for the Kesha. Then I found myself in the house of the Lord. It was my first time to experience acceptance and the love of God. Because when I came, I was not thrown out as many places, drunkards and smokers are thrown out of the church because of making noise and disturbing people. So on that 18th day of March, when I came, I was here, Again on 19th, because we left the Kesha on 19th in the morning, and I made a choice to come and see properly what happens in this wonderful church. And I was here on 20th morning. When I came, Bishop Jimmy Kemani was preaching. I I'm very honest, I cannot tell you what he said, but I, I chose to give my life to Jesus. And after preaching, he asked if there be anybody who would like to give their life to Jesus. And I lifted my hand, and uh, he called me in the front. He laid hands on me and prayed for me and led me to, uh, through the uh, repentance prayer and I gave my life to Jesus. I, I remember very well that morning he uh, connected me to a certain brother who did me a three minute follower and he told me to do three things. Mambo ni matatu, pray, read the words, tell people you have given your life to Jesus. Today is 31 years since I came to the Reverend Church Zimmerman and gave my life to Jesus. I'll tell you, my brother, my sister, when I came here, I was beaten. I was dead in sin. I was a smoker. I was a drunkard. I was dead, seriously dead. Outside I was okay, but inside I was empty. But I want to thank God because of the glaze and the spirit and the anointing and the blessings of the Lord upon our dear Bishop Jimmy Kemani because he was the first person who understood my me or understood my life and and he connected me with brothers who loved me and showed me the way I remember brothers like Ruben Masibiri the pastor in uh, Siokimau Pastor Kamande in uh, Mebury Reverend uh, Faris Jenga who also took hold of my hand there was brother Samuelu there was Leverett Peter Irungo, who used to feed me every Sunday morning with eggs. In fact, I would come very early, walk all the way from Gidurai 45. And when I entered the church, uh, Leverett Peter Irungo and Brother Jeroge Wambeth, they would usher me to the Yalum, which was just at uh, the entrance of the main church. And, and uh, they would leave me there to cook tea and to cook eggs. And I experienced such great love from the brothers that I found in this church. Having come from drunkenness, having come from culturalist, I was a culturalist and a drunk, somebody who would destroy crusades, fighting people who'd accept me as I was and accept my temperaments. I, I, I remember one brother, Samuel, who one time told me, if you don't control your temper, you may go to jail. And he walked with me, accepted me even in their house, so that wherever I did not have house rent, I would come and, and, and share in the house and nobody would know what is troubling me. It, it went on and by the grace of God, I was baptized uh, by a mansion outside the church here. There is a baptismal uh, pool and later 
bishop and a brother called Luke. They prayed for me to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And from there, I started the journey of faith. Uh, I was welcomed and I joined the New Life team uh, where I was welcomed by uh, brother Ruben Masibiri. And, and, and I trained in the New Life team. Later, I left and I went back home. After some few years, I left and went back to home to Rimuru, where I joined the Reverence Church Rimuru. And there I, I, I continued until a time I, I felt now uh, I'm somebody I can leave and start ministry. But it flopped. It flopped. I'm sorry to tell you, I had to close the church and sell the chairs. And then I went my own ways. And uh, I thank God for the fathery and a shepherd heart of our bishop. He looked for me, invited me back to Zimmerman, and I, he came and gave me a chair at the front, uh, at the front uh, next to the pulpit, where I came again for three years. I would come from Limur every morning, every Sunday, and I would be here until the, the, the service ends. I take lunch, I go back home, and then I was introduced to the School of Readers. I went through the encounter, the Bolton Nuts. I went through the entire uh, School of Readers course and the re-encounter. And immediately after graduating, I remember the same Sunday we graduated. It was on 6th of July, 2008. Uh, he opened for me the church in Ruaka, the Reverence Church Ruaka, the altar of faith, hope, and love, where we all are being built together to become a dwelling in which God lives by his Holy Spirit. And today it is 16 and a half years of a journey that I do not regret. I had tried ministry by my own means, but because there was no cover, I failed. These 16 years, we have seen the heart of God. People have come, they have given their life to Jesus, they have been transformed, they have been blessed. Some have come bachelors today, they are fathers with families. Some came uh, broken and defeated as a, when I came to Zimmerman. And today I can uh, authoritatively and confidently say, there is a grace in the Reverence Church Zimmerman. We have a father. We have a father. And let me tell you guys, the Reverence Church Zimmerman is like a stream of water where the trees that are planted on its bank, they draw pure, clean, blessed water where they bear fruits. I, I can tell you when I came, I was a bachelor. But today, I have a testimony that even after struggling and facing so many challenges of rejection and troubles and all this, today I'm married. God has blessed me with a lovely, beautiful wife, Virginia. And with her, God has blessed us with three children. And I thank God that like now, this year, last month, my second born daughter, she, she gave, uh, she got, she graduated. My son graduated about two years ago. And our last born is in university. I wonder sometimes, what is it that we want from the Lord? What other grace? What other favor? And still, we are continuing. Today, I'm the pastor at Deliverance Church, Ruaka. We have opened another church in Kabuko. Still, we have other pastors who are under, with me. They are working and serving the Lord. And we are continuing. All I can say is that, let us, or may the Lord help us to know the grace the angel, the spirit, the anointing that is there in this altar is the best. I sometimes miss and feel like, oh, that I would be asked to go back to Zimmerman. Because whenever I even I come, sometimes even I don't tell my bishop I'm coming, he only to fight me in the service. When I am dusty, when I am needy, when I want direction. He has been there for me. He has been there for so many others. It is my prayer that God will continue to bless the reverence church Zimmerman. Forty years. I've been a beneficiary for 31 years. And I can tell you, I have enjoyed life. God has transformed my life. God has worked with us in my life. When I came here, I'm telling you, I used to work from the right 45, where I had rented just one single room. But today, by the grace of God, and by the anointing of submitting and obeying the servant of God, walking under his guidance, under his prayers, under his help, Believe you me today, by the grace of God, I have authored a book by the name The Power of the Seed, Secret of Health and Wealth. God has also blessed us with a wonderful home and also some other properties here and there. Today I don't walk like I used to walk, like you came from uh, Reutering the World from Gidorai. I am driving. This 
is the doings of God. My brothers, my sisters, let us continue to wait upon the Lord. Soon, Christ is returning. And when he returns, it is good to know that he is coming to reward those who diligently seek him. As the Bible says, fix your eyes unto him, the author and the finisher. He's the one who authored, he's the one who predestined, he's the one who called, he's the one who justified, he's the one who sanctified, he's the one who glorifies. Let us love Jesus. He's the only savior. There is no other. And I want to encourage you, if you are in with us or you are listening to us from wherever you are listening, it's good to open your heart and give your life to Jesus. For he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of men. If we took away my sins, if we saved me, please believe you me, I was bad in use. But today, I proclaim, I preach, and I testify that Jesus the Son of God he is true. And the Reverend Church Zimmerman is an altar and is a place and is a well of living water. And our dear Bishop, a true shepherd, a true father, a friend, so humble, even to people that you would not imagine they can enter his vehicle. I mean, there is grace. There is grace. My brothers, my sisters, let's continue loving the Lord. Let's continue submitting let's continue praising the lord of lords it is through the grace and the anointing and the spirit of god upon our bishop may god bless you our bishop together with your family mom aris she has been there also for me so good mom she makes and made and also continues to make me feel loved and accepted in the beloved also our bishop's family the son and the daughters who have been like my younger brother, I love you and may God bless you. To the readership, thank you so much for this opportunity. And to all the members, I say shalom, peace and life to you. May God bless you. Thank you for that opportunity. I do not take it for granted to be allowed to testify of the doings of the Lord in my life. I started here and I am continuing and I'm still at the Reverence Church cover. And Bishop, God bless you. All the members, Pastor Kebera, Pastor Kauda, we have walked a journey with you. Pastor Irongo and all the others, shalom. God bless you. Thank you so much because of that opportunity. May God bless you and may God keep you good. In Jesus' name, amen. You heard it here, folks. That's Reverend Kaime for you. From that place of desperation and loneliness to a place of community, love, and acceptance, a family of God, where you're brought in, you're told, come as you are. Jesus will see to it that you do not remain the way you are as you continue to partner with him on this journey of salvation. This is my story. This is your story. This is our story. This is DCIKZ at 40.